tension in the room with people screaming out different names. Isn't it a bloodbath? Haven't they all been just like beautiful and fabulous? It's scary to even think about. I'm so glad I already won my title. I don't have to worry about it. Thank God. I wouldn't want to compete against these beautiful bitches. They have worn me out the entire evening. All right. Well, imagine bearing the brunt of all this on your shoulders. And that's just what our next person is going to do and has done throughout this entire evening. I think he's done a wonderful job. He's an entertainer in his own right, um, winning various titles and, and entertaining with a voice that you wouldn't believe. And just he's a wonderful person inside and out. And he is the owner of Miss National USA, and he is Kevin Scott. Let's hear it for Kevin Scott. Oh. Okay, he's going to be out shortly. I think he's done a wonderful job. Isn't the theater beautiful? Isn't this a wonderful facility? Yes. Every seat is a good seat. I think it's fabulous. Judges, how are you doing? Are you waving? You're hot? Are you hot? My breasts are sweating too. Speak of the devil, and there he is. Oh, look at his little devilish look. Let's hear for Kevin Scott, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I'd like to bring back all the top 12. We're going to call out the top five and go right into question and answer. Ladies and gentlemen, your first finalist this evening, Stacy Maxwell. Number two, Regina Anye. Number three, Oprah DeMauro. Number four, Rita Ross. Number five, Amber Richards. Number six, Shauna Brooks. Number seven, Tandy Andrews. Number eight, Cody Collins. Number nine, India Brooks. Number 10, Tommy Ross. Number 11, Naisha Dupree. And number 12, Tasha Long. Let's have a round of applause for what these 12 contestants have done tonight. I will call out the top 12. In this order, they will answer the question. Ladies and gentlemen, your first finalist that has made the top five, Amber Richards. Your second finalist that has made the top five, Tandy Andrews. Your third finalist that has made the top five, Tasha Long. Your fourth finalist that has made the top five, India Brooks. And your fifth finalist that has made the top five, Tommy Ross. Let's have a round of applause for the other contestants this evening. Thank you, Miss Naisha Dupree, Miss Cody Collins, and the rest. Thank you so much. If the other four will excuse themselves, except for Amber Richards, and you wait right on the side, we will start the question and answer. We have done our question and answer a little bit different than other people. We have decided to allow the contestants to know the question before they came to the competition so they would be able to be 100% prepared in every single category. How are you feeling? I'm going to read the question to you once, and then I'll repeat it once, and you have two minutes to answer the question. What will you be able to offer National Pageantry Systems as the very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Once again, what will you be able to offer National Pageantry Systems as the very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amber Richards. Through this weekend of competition, I have been applying for the executive position 
of the first Miss National for 1994. I'm fully aware that this position is not a one-year commitment. It is a lifetime commitment of excellence to the art of female impersonation. In this, the day and age of the 90s, it is no longer enough for a female impersonator to possess beauty, glamour, and talent. She must also possess communication skills, keeping an open line of communication, not only with the board of directors for the national pageantry system, but for you sitting out here and you sitting out here, for you are the gay people in which I will be representing. I'm a self-motivated individual who will dedicate themselves to fulfilling a year of excellence. And if given the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen and judges, I will dedicate myself to committing excellence for the art of female impersonation and making the Miss National pageantry system one of the most respected and coveted pageants that an entertainer can be a part of. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Amber Richards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from San Antonio, Texas, Ms. Tandy Andrews. How are you feeling? Fine, thank you. Tandy, I'm gonna read the question to you once and then I'll repeat it once. You have two minutes to answer the question. What will you be able to offer national pageantry systems as the very first Miss Gay National and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Once again, what will you be able to offer national pageantry systems as a very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Hello, Atlanta. My name is Tandy Andrews. In reference to the question, it's two parts. What can I offer you, and how will I promote you? Well, there is five to six national titles for girls to go for. So tonight, there must be magic. The girl must really want this, because after tonight, this is how everybody's going to perceive this pageant. It's going to make it or break it. What I have to offer you is very simple. It's honest. I have 11 years of experience, two national titles, numerous TV appearances, which only give me more strength to be confident in front of all of you. How will I promote you? I spent 11 years creating this persona. This is a shell, but now I found a new journey. I wanna know who I am. I wanna know why I was put on this earth. So what I intend to do is travel from city to city I can only entertain, make you happy, but while I'm there, I'm gonna plant a seed and watch that grow so that when I'm not there and any of you need strength, you can lean to me. In closing, my message for the year, there is no time to be superficial. Be real. Signing off, Tandy Andrews. Ladies and gentlemen, Tandy Andrews. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome from Birmingham, Alabama, Tasha Long. <laughs> Hello, Tasha. How are you feeling? Wonderful. How are you? Great. I'm going to read the question twice to you. You have two minutes to answer it. All right? What will you be able to offer national pageantry systems as the very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system during your first year of, t of reign? Once again, what will you be able to offer national pageantry systems as the very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and judges. For your consideration, my name is Tasha Long, and I am your contestant number 12. How do I plan to promote the pageant the first year? First of all, I would like to get with the board of directors, the pageant owner, 
and you and find out exactly what do you expect of me as your national title holder. <laughs> then I can only offer you from my heart what I call the three D's in life, determination, dedication, and dependability. I'm a very dedicated entertainer. You can depend on me at all times. <laughs> and I love each and every one of you. Also, there's something I've always wanted to do as a national title holder, and that was to start a platform. There's something that we overlook sometimes. We as female impersonators take this very seriously as our jobs. I'm fortunate enough at Club 21 to have dental insurance and hospital insurance. Some girls up here do not have that. I would like to start a fund that would help those girls in times of need. This would help those girls in times of need to bring them back to where we want them to be. And that's on stage, entertaining each and every one of you. So in doing so, not only would I be promoting myself, but I'll be promoting the national pageantry system and giving you something more than just myself, love, dedication, and determination. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tasha Long. Please welcome to the stage from Gainesville, Florida, Miss India Brooks. Congratulations. How are you feeling? I feel very good right now. Great. I'm going to read the question twice to you. You have two minutes to answer it. What will you be able to offer National Pageantry Systems as the very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Once again, what will you be able to offer National Pageantry Systems as the very first Miss Gay National, and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? First of all, before I answer the question, I would like to thank the judges for allowing me to be standing up here right now. And I want to thank the audience for your wonderful support. You've been really wonderful. I'm so happy to be here. I, India Brooks, can offer national pageantry systems my dignity, my pride, and my abilities as a female impersonator. I will promote this pageant by traveling to as many cities, nightclubs, and meeting as many people as I possibly can within that year. And I feel that meeting people is the most important. It's the most important of all. Because you are who make me what I am. And without all of you, there would be no India Brooks. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss India Brooks. Please welcome to the stage from Houston, Texas, Ms. Tommy Ross. Hi, Tommy. Congratulations. How do you feel? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'll read the question to you two times. You have two minutes to answer the question. What will you be able to offer national pageantry systems as the very first Miss Gay National and how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Once again, what will you be able to offer National Pageantry Systems as a very first Miss Gay National? And how do you intend to promote this system and your title during the first year? Good evening, Atlanta. I am Tommy Ross from Houston, Texas. And I would just like to take this opportunity to say thank you for giving me love and much support while I've been here. In reference to the question, I thought long and hard about it, and I kept coming up with the same answer to both of the questions. The only thing that I can offer this pageant and the system is myself. And, be, and, and in being myself, I believe that I'm a better person because I have a five-step program that has led me to where I, I am now. One, that's having a positive attitude because I believe that what you give in life is what you get out of life. Secondly, being the best. Never settle for good, fair. Always strive for the best. C, 
thoroughly see for courage. And this particular one has brought me to this pageant because I believe that those who fail in life are those who never try. Fourth is determination. You set goals and you strive. You strive hard and you be determined to always find those goals, achieve those goals. And the last one that is very important to me, extremely important, is equality. That is that you treat every individual with the same amount of respect that in return you would want to get. So therefore, if I am fortunate enough this evening to become your first Miss Gay National 1994, believe me, the respect, the determination, the courage, the excellence, everything that you could possibly want in a queen, you see it here. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tommy Ross.